Welcome back to The Modern Ham, where we are connected in new old ways. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. I know it has been quite a long time since I've done a video. I did have a career change, and this new job has taken a lot more of my time recently. I'm starting to hit a point where I kind of have a... Uh, an idea of what my day-to-day -day looks like. I can start trying to generate some videos again. With that out of the way, I do want to showcase a pretty cool little project I actually did roughly six months ago and I never actually shared with anybody. I have a habit of doing that. What if I told you you could play an MMO-like game over amateur radio? That sounds awfully ambitious, I know. Yeah, and it actually is a little too ambitious. But I do have a project I want to show that is a basically like an RPG game where players can log in and they actually communicate uh, the game communicates over ham radio and you'll see other players in the game and you'll also be able to chat with other players. Now realistically the packet rate is not very high and it's using AX25 or uh, APRS basically as the backbone. It's written in Rust using the Bevy game engine and it is a very simple demo, right? So don't get your, ex your hopes up. We're going to take a look at it here in a moment. It is open source. So I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. It'll have all the source code. It'll also have releases if you just want to open the game and run it. There's instructions to compile it. The whole goal of this video is just to get the project out there because I have been kind of hoarding it and not really doing anything with it. So feel free to fork the project, play around with it. Really, I just want to encourage innovation in amateur radio. And this is a little project just to show people, hey, this type of thing is possible. So if you want to pursue some type of game over amateur radio. As long as you stick to the rules, um, you can do that. So let's take a look at the project. So this is Ham RPG. This is the GitHub page. If you navigate here, it has instructions on how to run the game, how to build the game, if you want to compile it from source. And if you want to check it out, you can go to the releases tab here and download the Linux or the Windows version. But uh, just to show you what it looks like here, I'm going to have uh, Direwolf running over here on the left side, and I'm going to have Direwolf running on the right side. And really, these are uh, Direwolf is the sound modem, so uh, the game uses AX25 uh, or TCP uh, KISS modem for its transport layer. And so any type of like sound modem or Direwolf or even Vara with the KISS port enabled will work for the transport for the game. Uh, so once you have uh, your port configured uh, in whatever application you're using. You just need the IP and the port, which I think by default is 8100 for TCP KISS. Um, and next thing you want to do is just run the game. So I'm on Linux. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just run the game like this. I'm going to actually run two instances so you guys can see. So uh, I'll have my instance here on the top, and I'm going to run an instance on the bottom. So you would imagine uh, one player might have you know, Direwolf running in the game, and just imagine this is their player somewhere, right? And then the other player could be across town, and they're communicating over AX25 or APRS, whatever you say through Direwolf. Uh, so once the application started, you'll put in your call sign, and in this case, I'm going to use KN4MKB-1, and you're going to put the TNC host and port, so this is your sound modem. I think by default is 8100 um, on Direwolf. Uh, and then your update interval, this is how often you send update packets. So obviously if it's more congested, you'll want to send packets slower. Uh, or if it's a frequency that's not being used, you may be able to actually increase this interval. In this case, for this demo, I'm just going to do send a packet every 10 seconds. Um, and uh, the client down here, I'm going to call this KN4MKB-2. And the TNC port for this direwolf instance is 8200. So I'm going to put that over here, and he's also going to update every 10 seconds. Now, before I start the game, I do want to talk about a little bit about the features here. So really, we're just uh, we're able to move and we're able to chat, but it uses a KISS protocol, and there's highly compressed packet data, and you're about to see it here uh, for the position updates in the chat. I've tried to do my best to reduce as much uh, data as possible. That way, this could be actually played over slower data rate, uh, places of the spectrum like HF but let's go ahead and connect one you're going to see over here um, Direwolf oh actually there's a little sound in there okay so Direwolf uh, you can see right here I'm starting to send packets these are my position packets right and this is the game debug output down here you'll see on the right side this right TNC has actually started to pick up packets but since this game client hasn't been started it doesn't really do anything with them so these are just 
uh, position packets. Now I'm going to start the second client. And you'll see the second dire wolf. Now he is sending packets as well. Now I'm going to click up on the top one. And I'm just going to move over here. And watch what happens on the bottom one. Once that update is sent, it moves this player, right? So this is uh, optimized for low bandwidth. Typically, you could just teleport the players around, but instead I've decided to do like a slow movement curve, so it looks like the players are moving. So even though I'm only sending position updates every 10 seconds, it kind of looks like they're actually maybe moving uh, a little bit in real time. You know, it's not super natural, but um, it kind of helps to add to, I guess, the feeling. So there's also chat. I can go in here and I can type in T and I can say, hello, world. And this chat message actually goes out over Dire Wolf 2. I want to see if I can scroll that in. Yeah. So the chat message actually goes out on Dire Wolf, and you can see it pop up on the other client's screen. And, of course, I can just say a message back, and that will be transmitted. So that's basically all the functionality that there is right now. Um, I've made sure to try to comment the code. I've made the code base pretty simple. That way, if somebody did want to actually get on and do something with this, or at least use that as inspiration, they can see how something like this could be done. So, feel free to open up the uh, the GitHub if you are uh, if you know Rust or you want to learn Rust or whatever. You can clone the project, fork it, uh, check it out. I just want to kind of encourage a little bit of innovation here because there's a lot of neat things I think that we're passing up on on amateur radio that we're not really doing. I do want to say that. Um, there is no collision in the game. There's also not error correction. So if that packet doesn't come through, you're not getting the update. Right? So if I send a chat message and there just happens to be some, um, you know, some interference on the frequency at the time and this client doesn't get that chat message, it's not going to try to resend. This isn't uh, at the level where it's trying to resend packets and things like that. Uh, this is simply just a demo. Hey, does this thing work? Can we communicate this way? And uh, I think sometimes it's better just to leave things kind of simple like that. Theoretically, a bunch of people could get on and they could try to send message to each other. And if it gets through, it gets through. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. If somebody would want to pursue something in the future, I would recommend maybe there's packet forwarding built into the clients where one player can send packets to another player um, and things like that. But either way, uh, I think it would be really cool if somebody wants to try this out with me. If you wanted to try to play over HF, uh, hit me up in the Discord, and that'll be it. Thanks for watching.